Hello, welcome to another episode of the Mark II Golf Stories. Today we're back with the GTI. We're going to replace the cam belt. Got a new cam belt and a new tensioner from Heritage Parts. Um, and I've got my good friend Albie, aka Zaster Monkey, coming down to babysit me. Okay, so let's do this. Oh yeah, she's also developed a bit of an oil leak, so we're going to have a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to get things started. Uh, yeah. So here's the cam belt, as you can see, it's a bit worn. But before we can get the cam belt off, um, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. We're going to have to take the other belts off as well. So we need to take the alternator belt off, and down here the power steering belt. First thing you need to do, working on a car in the engine, is always disconnect the battery. First I need to get the wheel off and jack the car up, get it on some stands, make sure it's nice and safe. But the first thing we want to do is get the engine timed up. And you'll notice on the top of the rocker cover, there's this arrow. And on the flywheel, there's also an arrow. On mine, I've previously marked it up with some Tipex. And it's just there. So I need to turn the engine over by hand and make sure that this line here lines up with the arrow here on top of the rocker cover. And then there's another arrow further down which we need to check as well. So I'll do that first and the best way to do that with a vehicle jacked up and the wheel off it gives you better access to this pulley. I need to put a socket on here. I've got a 21 mil 21 socket. Fits on perfectly. And then you'll see, as I turn this, the engine turns over. So there we go. I think that's pretty much lined up. As you can see, the cam belt's starting to fray a bit, so I think we're doing this just in time. And the first one we're going to start with is the alternator belt. And to get that off, we need to loosen this nut. And to loosen that, we need to use a 13 mil socket. There's also a second bolt down here, which we need to loosen. That takes a 17mm socket. Two bolts, one on this side. Hey, ah, well done, Bert. So, now you need to do is take that off. Well, you can't take that off unless you take the other rock belt off. Oh. You fucking help. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's what you're here for, mate. <laughs> Apparently, I've got to take another belt off first. Here he is, my hero. Instead of me undoing all of that, then undoing the tensioner, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to undo unnecessary bits because if you look at this, it's fixed up at the top uh -huh. um, and you've only got these two here and this one just to give it a little bit of movement. Oh, there's so a slider, yeah, I didn't see the slider before. Oh, there? there. No, oh, this one here I was looking at. Yeah. The slide, yeah. So that, that then slides and that takes the tension out of your power steering belt. Right, okay. Rust on it? No. So hammer down there next to you. I need it to go further up that slider. Well, just a little bit. Got a bit of slack left on that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get that much movement out of it. It's your eyes, mate. You've got oil on the ship dripping down. <sighs> Power steering belt off. Yes. Good work, Alvy. More room on it. There you go. So auxiliary belt off. Lovely. Stick that back in just to make sure we don't lose it. And drop that through the bottom for what it's worth. Once you've got the belts off, 
uh, you just need to loosen these, which is very easy according to Albie, uh, with a H6 bolt and what was that? Was that a 13mm socket? 13 mil. And a 13mm socket. Um, with a socket in the middle just to make sure it doesn't turn. Here's to release the cover, plastic cover, and it's just that one there. bolt there. And then these 10mm. Yeah. That's nice and easy to do. Jubbly. Having lots of oil makes things easier sometimes. We'll find out where that leak is. We'll see what we can do about it. So, so we've just got to go around the cover. So the, there's usually one in the middle. Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Second bolt there, just under the tensioner. So what we can do, try and get round, try and get round the power steering pump. Ah uh, yes, we cover off, we need to take off uh, this set of pulleys down here. So I need to get down there and give Albie a hand. Oh, two. They're really loose by the way. Like, really that loose. unhealthily loose. Right unhealthily loose. Because two people are doing this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it goes, so that needs to come out to the front. There's six. Flipping <laughs> Nora, man. That's the way near. Yeah, I'll turn it around. Yeah, that might actually be. You ready? Oh, there we go. Three, two, one, go. Tries. Oh, flipping it, thank god that went. <laughs> Next one. Oh. One, two, last one. <laughs> oh, yay. Yes, that's what you need, people. So, this is a specialist VW tool. <laughs> It's called a tiny screwdriver, pokey thing. It's not even a screwdriver, I don't know what the fuck it is. Ah, oh, brilliant. And have your soap in the back. You can't have it. You can lend it. So we get our home and then it comes back. You know the engine's back. timed that's up. That's fine, that's fine. Can I have you take a look? Can I have you take a look? Just like that. You can use it. Right, so, there's your old tensioner off. Yeah, but when you get... Lovely. Yeah, but... Yeah. And then, uh, Next oh, oh. The shed there you go, there it's is a candle. Uh, Ta da! Shed. Like yeah. Oh dear. Because you were going to laugh, wasn't it? Was about, you know, that, yeah. Also, if you look at the side yeah, there, you see where it's, it's, been not, been, it's not been placed right, so it's rubbing through. So, one thing you must remember. You want the writing so that you can read it. Ah, okay. Okay, so when you're, when you're putting you. on timing belt, old belts, anything like that, always make sure that you can read the writing. Why is that? Now, it's the way they're designed to work. Now, the one thing that you really need to do as well, mm -hmm. is you want, so if you look at this belt run, okay, so you can see you practically you pump and then you come up onto your cam, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that all your slack is on that side because that's where your tensioner is. Oh, okay. So the, the, when you tension it, you're taking all that slack out. Now, okay. it's easier said than done. What we can do is when we've got it tight enough, we can turn it so that the slack then goes onto that side. So. Okay. Not a big tissue, really. And that, should, should, it, should it sit like that with a bit of a gap on the t some of the teeth showing? Yeah, so realistically, it should sit bang in the middle. It's never going to sit bang in the middle because. Yeah there's always going to be a little bit of movement in them um but yeah realistically you should sit there so you can see that you've got gaps there and yeah there. okay so i think the other one was too close to the edge wasn't it yeah so you just want to make sure it's on get as much slack out of that as you can uh -huh. which you can go underneath and do then put your tensioner on tension it and then the one thing you've got to do as well after we put the belt on we're going to turn it over twice by hand to ensure that it lines back up again and you have to turn it over twice because obviously on the four stroke cycle Two strokes, so you need to do it so that you're not 180 out. Right. Ah. Pro tip if you haven't got a, a VW tool for the um, tensioner, you can use one of these, get it in the hole, 
and pull it while somebody uh, tightens up the tension a bolt. Albie's just turned the uh, bottom crank over twice and we do it twice because the cam pulley is twice the size of the bottom crank. Yeah. So to turn it, to make sure that goes all the way around, you need to turn that over twice. That means our cam belt should now be nice and tight. Good that. Good. Nice. And, and what's a good rule of thumb for uh, so checking it, the tightness? If you've not got, so in the workshop we'll have, we'll have a specialist tool that will check the tension and you, you go for it. What you can do is you can do the 45 rule, so if you can't turn it more than that then you're good. Um, lots of people over crank the timing belt and they put excess pressure on it. It cause lots of work. Bit of a gearbox leak for your drain plug, if I'm honest. Oh, okay. Bom, 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 that sump is fucking knackered, isn't it? Yep. Working with you is like working on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I provide entertainment. <laughs> How very dare you. Right, give us that uh, box belt. Why do you wait to fucking walk off? I thought you get it yourself. I did get it myself. <laughs> Well, what we'll do is we'll just get your water pump on. Yeah. And then we'll just because you you don't really, well realistically you don't really need your power steering on to just check it, do we? No. So let's do that. Eh? One final belt to put on the uh, power steering belt. We've given it a turnover and it works, so that's a good sign. Right. I'll give them a bit of a tight when I've got a bit more resistance on them. Put around it the water core pump, around the crank, and then right, so this is where I do. Try and get it up there, a nice pull it like that. You have a slider there, you have a tensioner there. You want to tighten that up, which is a 13 mil. And again, don't go full ham on it, but you don't want to go too loose, otherwise, it'll squeal its head off. So you can see, you see, if you look there, you see that the belt's tension. Now, one thing that I like to do just as a, as a precaution, is just check that that belt's actually running straight, because sometimes uh, that can be a cause of premature wear. So you're checking that, I see that's pretty slack still. But we're gonna run out of tension soon, so to get away with that, we'll go up the slider a bit. So, okay. That's alright under here to be fair. Apart from public oil. That's what it is, isn't it? So we can always laugh, but we'll have to try and get a bit more tension to this belt. Uh, right, I'm not happy with that, it's far too loose. Yeah, we had this problem last time, didn't we? Yeah. What do we have to do? So what we have to do is pull, pull it back, didn't we? Pull it back, yeah, but the problem with what we've got with that is. That's it. Alright, we're to tighten it up. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, round off. Alright, I'm gonna buy you a new toolkit. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> 
So you see we're right at the end of that slider now. Yep. That belt tension feels pretty darn good. So let's go for it. So tighten everything up. Ooh, whoa. Again, it's only castings, you don't want to go full hammer it. And then we tighten down this one. What was that? Mobile telephone. That's the uh, timing belt change. Thank you to this man here, Albie, my main man, aka Zeiss the Monkey. Yeah, man, check me um, out. Who has basically done all the work, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would definitely not been able to do this without him. Uh, you're more than welcome. I jacked it up. Yeah, you took a wheel off. So, I mean, if you found this video helpful, uh, I found Albie helpful, um, drop a like, click a subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I, and probably I'll be actually, will see you in another video doing something else. Definitely. Thank you for watching. See you later.